Welcome back to Sip the Taylor Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And the Ravens' first drive on Sunday afternoon versus the Dallas Cowboys showed me that they had an amazing game plan to start the game off. It was a great mixture of run pass. We saw some stuff that we've been clamoring for out of the Ravens, and it worked very, very successful. It was five plays. We saw some stretch. We saw some boot action. We saw some QB runs off some reads. Actually, we saw that twice. It was a beautiful, beautifully executed drive to open the game from the Baltimore Ravens. Five plays, 71 yards, uh, two minutes and 27 seconds. Not a long drive, but a very efficient drive. Let's get into the very first drive from Sunday afternoon with the Baltimore Ravens versus the Dallas Cowboys and see how well the Ravens executed their game plan where their opening script um, versus the Cowboys. Welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. Let's get it. All right, welcome back. Let's get into the film version of this epic and very efficient first drive from the Baltimore Raiders. But before we do that, smash that like button. And if it's your first time here and you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when we drop these videos throughout the 2024 season. But let's get into it. This very first play is first and 10 from the minus 29. We're going to get um, Lamar Jackson with a 12-yard carry in his split zone arc. And what split zone arc is, and I'll go to the back back end first so I can show you. Split zone arc. What's gonna happen? And and the the promise the premise of it is is O line running inside zone. So it should be double. That's too big. I'm gonna make that smaller. There we go. That's good. Double there. To there, no, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. He's going to be the read guy, depending on what Michael Parsons do. Let's start over here. McCarry going out to there. Double that to there. And depending on what Michael Parsons do, Michael Parsons may be the end man on line of scrimmage. But if he slides out, he's going to be the end man on line of scrimmage. But step down, whoever steps in that gap, we're going to take it. Whoever steps in that gap, we're going to take it. End man on line of scrimmage, we're going to leave. The more going to read that person. And Isaiah Likely is going to come around. And most of the time, split zone, he block the end man on line of scrimmage. But he's not going to block the end man on line of scrimmage. He's going to keep arcing and pick up that person because he's going to read whoever the end man on line of scrimmage is. Right now, it looks like it's going to be Michael Parsons. So if Michael Parsons, just for whatever reasons, crash down, if he crashes down like that, we're just going to pull the ball out and keep it, which is what Lamar going to do. So that's split zone arc. That's the premise of it. Get all this off your screen. All right, let's go back to the out the all twenty two view up. So Michael's the email line of scrimmage. He's the guy we're gonna read. So that like look like he's coming to block Michael, and Michael's kind of preparing for it. He goes right by him. Michael goes and takes Derrick Henry. Lamar pulls it, and now he comes out. He got a lead blocker with Isaiah Likely. Now, I wish Ronnie, if Ronnie didn't come off of his block, see, we lose one when Ronnie comes off his block. And so now we, we, we get minus one. And I've been saying minus one here lately because we've been losing blockers up front. But let's take a look at it. It comes likely now. So it should have been, like I said, it should have been double, double there. Why is it so big? I don't want that big old. I don't want it red either. I don't like all this red. I'll change it later. All right, anyway, it should have been double. And double to that. That's what it should have been. And so, if Ronnie get on this, this right shoulder pad of this guy right here, we should be good. And then, But likely would have then be able to block a third level defender. But because he doesn't, 
likely has to block a second level defender and we lose a guy. And so now the third level defender is able to push Lamar or force Lamar out of bounds. But if they stay on their block and likely is able to block the third level defender, we have an even, even bigger play. And we get 12 yards, but I'm just saying it could have been a lot more. See how, how Ronnie misses right there? So if Ronnie gets that block, if Ronnie gets this block right here, and then likely is able to block that guy, we got an even bigger play. See what I'm saying? Because see, likely wasn't supposed to block him. Likely was supposed to block that dude. And we got an even bigger play. About 12 yards, we'll take it. 12 yards, we'll take it. Now we have first and 10 from the minus 41. We get another inside zone. We get a zone read arc. We got 11 personnel with, with likely in the game. As the tight end, um, in my old offense, we would call this Y left. Because uh, normally we're two by two, but with the tight end there, we're the tight end, we would call Y. It would be Y left. Oh, actually, like two tight ends. That's Kolar's in the game. Didn't realize that. That's Kolar up top. That's Charlie Kolar up top. If I'm not mistaken. No, that's Mark. That's Mark up top. So this is, <laughs> so technically this is 12 personnel, but you got Mark flexed out as a, um, as a uh, receiver. So it's 12 personnel. I apologize. But you just got inside zone arc. So on read arc. And it's similar to the play we just saw. Instead of likely coming across the backside, he's already on that side now. So you put Derrick Henry in motion. Well, not motion. You flip him on the other side. And so this is what you're going to get. Make sure this ain't red. I don't like. I don't like red. All right, we can roll with this one. All right. So this is what you're gonna get. Inside zone to the right. Uh, likely he's gonna arc up to this guy. Double to that. Double to that. Then you get a solo with McCarr. That's what you should get. Henry's gonna come down. Push a gap. Um, we're going to read number 90 and 90 plays this extremely, extremely well. He plays it almost textbook the way you should. Keeps his shoulder square. When he realizes the ball is handed off, he goes down and tries to get the tackle, tries to get in on the tackle. Let's check it out. Got your two doubles with Ronnie and Voyage. Got your double with Linderbaum and Falele. Well, I do I do like this, and I'm going to give Falele props. Watch how he, he comes off with this double. They're hip to hip, which is good. Now, when the linebacker triggers, watch Falele get in the gap. That's good. That's good. He wasn't doing that um, in the past. Combo, linebacker triggers, he comes off. Good. Good. Ryan and Voorhees taking the defensive tackle to the linebacker. That's good. The only bad thing about it is Lindenbaum allowed the um after the double, Lindenbaum allowed the guy to cross face. And so they kind of just mucked it, mucked it up. But look at number 90. 90, keep your shoulder square, surf down. Lamar hand it off, then he fall in to make the tackle. But we still get three yards on it. If we could get if we could have gotten more push on this side instead of stalemates, we would have gotten more than three. But we'll take three. We'll take it. Positive runs. You never go broke taking a nickel. All right. This next play, it's second and seven. And we're in, well, depending on what you call Ricard, we're in 12 personnel. Or if, Ricard, if we're considering Ricard a fullback, we're in 21 personnel. And counter bash makes its way to, into the 2024 offense. Justice Hill for 17 yards. Run the counter. Guy on the end plays the counter. Lamar just handed it off. The badge stands for back away. That's what the BA stands for in badge. Back away. Back away from the counter. And it's another replay. Another replay. That's all that is. So what's going to happen is Stanley and Voorhees, they run the counter. Should be a kick out. Should be a wrap. 
should get a down block by Lindebaum, down block by Falele, and Makari should be working on that down block, trying to get to number 13 for the backside backer. Lamar's going to read this guy right here. Kolar's going to arc. Kolar's going to arc about it in and try to go get somebody on second level. So they're going to read that dude. If he comes down and like chase these pullers, Lamar's going to give it to uh, Justice Hill, going straight down the line of scrimmage. If 90 chases these pullers, Lamar's going to give it to Justice Hill, going straight down the line of scrimmage. If 90 kinds of sit and plays up the field, uh, Lamar's going to keep it and run counter himself. That's what's going to happen. That's what should happen. That's the way counter bash works. Let's see how this played out. So you get the down block by Lindebaum. Falele on his down block, even though his head on the wrong side. Makari get it down because dude tried to cross his face, so that's good, Makari. Ricard tries to go up to second level. That's fine. Got Voorhees pulling for the kick out. You got um, Ryan pulling for the wrap. Then you got the defensive end, who's the read guy, trying to be super smart and get on the other side of the pullers. And Lamar did a great job. Because remember, this is the read guy right here. He's trying to get behind Stanley to tackle Lamar. So this is a great job of handing this ball off. And you see, I don't know how well you can see it, but you see Kolar right there got one-on-one -on -one with that dude. So that's a great job of, of reading that and handing that ball off, Lamar. Great read. Justice Hill, good job of breaking that arm tackle. The newly signed Justice Hill, may I, may I add. All right. Finally, something that I've been clamoring for, and I think the, the flock itself has been clamoring for, for a long time. Plus 30 for, for Cornwall Kolar. Fake toss. Naked boot action flood. First of all, as we get into this, because we really, we really only gonna look at the all twenty-two of this. Watch how hard these linebackers flow into this line of scrimmage. Watch how hard they flow into this line of scrimmage on this fake toss. Just watch. Which is why I think the play action and the boot game is so so important, and and it's going to be so effective for us. Just let's just watch. They're on just for the just for the sake of it, they're all on the 35 yard line. This guy this guy gets up to the 32. He's basically trying to get out in front of the toss on the 33 so far. These two are kind of playing back, but look how far to the right they went. To the right of where they were. Now nobody's out here on this boot. Nobody. And I said it during the watch party, it's buck naked because it is. Like Kolar's the target. Look with Kolar. Kolar does a great job of trying to seal that backside and play it off. And and lets D Law, I think it's D Law, and lets 90 win. And now he's out there unscathed. 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 And look, even Diggs. Look at Diggs up here. Diggs has paying attention to um to Bateman because of the toss action. Diggs is coming up like he's finna set this edge. He kind of has paying attention to Rashad Bateman. Because Bateman's going to come through. Bateman's about to run this over. And he's about to be open too. He's about to be open too. Not saying Bateman should have got the ball because the first read is Kolar. But I'm just saying. Just watch. See, Diggs went to set the edge too. Look, Diggs ain't one thing about Bateman. The only person that's even a, close to being covered is, is uh, Zay. Is Zay. But... Great job of, of them even calling this and great job of execution. And now you get Kolar for a big 30-yard game. Get old Cornwall Kolar. Good job of Zay blocking downfield. Made this play a lot bigger than it, than it probably was going to be. And what I will say about four, his butt is always blocking. Always. Even when they put him in the line of scrimmage and he had to crack back on people or block down on ends and stuff like that. He's always blocking. Always. And look at this. Look at the look at the end right here on the play fake. Look at these two end guys right here. Look at 90. Look at this guy. Watch how hard they come down on the fake. <laughs> he almost broke his ankle trying to turn around. 
He had this kush kush. Look at Zay. And finally, and finally, just close this thing out like we started. Same play, different look. Same play, different look. So you back in um, what's this? Twelve personnel, one back, two tight ends. You got likely in the backfield with with Derrick Henry. You got Mark Andrews on the line of scrimmage, and you got your two receivers to the right. You got Bateman and um, Zay Flowers. You get an inside zone look to the right. Mark Andrews is going to arc to the next level defender. Um, likely he's going to do the same as well. And any th anybody that shows up in Likely's path, he's going to block him. So they're not going to block Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons, who's who got over here late and is right here, he's the read guy. So depending on what Michael do, that's what LJ is going to do. If Michael crashes down like he did on that first play, Lamar's going to keep it and hit the edge. He took one step down. Lamar said, gotcha. Got him. So he already got Mark Andrews blocking. Likely he's out there and just going to pick up whatever shows up. And now it's just foot race. And a lot of times Lamar's going to win that foot race versus 98% of the NFL. 98% of the NFL. But let's see what the, the O-line did blocking inside zone. Had he would have handed it off. Got a good double with Linderbaum and... Oh, we went tackle over. I didn't realize that. We went tackle over. Okay. So tackle over. And for those that don't know, meaning this is where Ronnie Stanley would have been. But now Ronnie Stanley is over here. So this is the extreme strong side. You got your center in Linderbaum. You got Falele at guard. You got your right tackle in Macari. And then you got your left tackle on the other side over, tackle over, Ronnie Stanley. Didn't even realize that at first. Stanley blocks out. Macari has nobody really to block. And remember last week we talked about that hand, that offhand, and Falele didn't do it one time to help. No, Macari didn't do it one time to help Isaiah Likely. His hand, his hand's there now to help Falele. Just to see, just to see. He don't really help much, but just to see. At least that hand's there to feel. It wasn't there last week. He threw a chicken wing. Falele did a good job on ninety-seven. Again, and the play calling is going to help him. If we call plays like this, it'll help Falele because he's not a big mover of people. And if he can just get a hat on a hat, we, we should be good. Zone blocking is more hat on a hat stuff. Power and counter, you got to move people. And he's not a people mover. Stay off your knees, Voorhees. We had a guy on his knees a lot last year. We had... John Simpson last year, always on his knees last year. Stay off your knees, Voorhees. You don't want to get that moniker. We had Meg the Simpson last year. I got another name for you if you want to stay on your knees. Don't, 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 don't do it, Voorhees. You don't want this name I got in my head for you. She's aggravating as hell in rap. You don't want this name. I'm going to just give you a hint. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. You don't want that name. Voorhees, you definitely don't. You don't. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> this is a masterful first first drive from the Baltimore Ravens. The the script worked, and they came out and executed it to perfection, and we went up 7-0 on the Dallas Cowboys in their hometown and kind of, I think, deflated the crowd early because they had some, some looks on their faces, and CD and Dak started arguing, and they their body language was total – Disaster, and I, and I think Tom Brady alluded to it on the broadcast. When I was watching, I couldn't see the broadcast, but I saw people mentioning it in the uh, chat box. But it is what it is, man. We came out with a great first drive, did what we needed to do. Um, mixed in run, pass, and boot. Uh, a lot of reads, no counter, no power, which is a good thing. And we ended up 7-0 first drive on our way to a great rushing day. So this is Coach Evans with the first video of the week. Um I appreciate everybody for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Remember the motto is FTMF, film, then more film, and I'll catch y'all soon. Peace and love.